Hey guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, so today's video is how to elevate your living room affordably for fall. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I want to say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any videos. Let me go ahead and show you what my living room looked like with just the couch, just a coffee table, and one piece of art that's on the wall there, you can see. And then I'm going to show you how to transform it. Those of you that are new here, everything will be linked in the description box, so you could just check it out. And um, the majority of the things, super affordable, and it doesn't take a lot of money to elevate your living space so let's get started there's the disaster <laughs> so I am gonna move you over here and the biggest problem that if you look at the before picture the biggest problem was the sofa it was pushed against the wall and there's nothing between the artwork and the sofa and so we needed something because you can't bring these are very large, very tall ceilings. See how hard they go? So you can't put the artwork way up high and you can't put it lower. So you needed something in the middle. And so that's where a sofa table comes into play. And the sofa table that I'm gonna show you is actually from Walmart. I'm gonna show you my version, which the reason that I got this one is I didn't need underneath storage. Um, I'll also show you my daughter's version because you all know that she bought a new home and hers, you actually see it uh, when you come in the front door. So for me, mine's truly behind the sofa. It's giving space between the sofa and um, the wall. So it doesn't look like it's just shoved up there willy nilly. And um, I'm also going to talk about the coffee table as well. Uh, when you have a sectional, it is sometimes very difficult to decorate around a sectional um, because you're limited. Uh, in my case, because I have a chase on one side, and then we have a, this is truly a you know three-sided couch. You need either a round or a square coffee table. In my case, I got square wood with storage, with drawers, um, and so you may say to yourself, well, there's a tufted top. Can you hear my lunatic cat? Uh, tufted top, how do you go about dealing with that? And I'll talk about that. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to first show you a close-up of the a console table that I picked up and um, I'm going to decorate it for fall. My daughter is obsessed <laughs> with Halloween. She's already in September decorated for Halloween. So hers is decorated for Halloween and so I will show you that one as well so that you can get an idea. So um, and then we're going to get to work. I've got a bunch of new stuff that I ordered from Amazon over here. I have on the floor some stuff that's staples throughout the year. How do we put space between artwork and the couch? How do we keep the couch away from the wall? Sofa table, <laughs> yay! Um, and sofa tables are a great tool to elevate things, to give you more storage. Um, so right now you can see that I've got some boxes here of new things from Amazon. There goes Mittens, the lunatic, because you know I've moved things around, so she's checking it all out. Um, I am gonna show you the star piece, which of course is the sofa table, because that's the thing that is gonna pull it all together. Okay, you guys, so this is the sofa table. Let me bring you down a little bit that I got. As you can see, it's uh, just wood top and then metal frame. There's no shelving underneath. I did not need that because, again, it's going right up against the wall. Wood cleaner, love it. It's natural. You can buy this from Grove. This is where I get it, but you can also buy it from target as well and just making sure that I have that level with the artwork now the first thing that we need is light you can already see I have my lamp there uh, so I'm gonna put that up and it is a neutral it's so great for year round
lamp here on this side, which is a neutral. Now we need something tall on this side. Okay, we're gonna even out the sides. So hyacinth basket, an orchid, neutral. Still this gap between here and here. So we need to add something. I got this really pretty pedestal. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna put it right in the middle. So we have the sofa table done. Let me go ahead and show you. So I am gonna zoom you, I'm gonna actually keep you zoomed out for a moment. So we talked about we have those high ceilings, then we have that huge piece of artwork, which I absolutely love. And so what I did, I'm gonna stand on this side so you can see a little bit better. So what I did was, the first thing I did is put a piece of artwork in the center 
joining basically the big piece of artwork with the long sofa table. Then we had to have, at least I wanted, so then I always have to have light. Um, so I, that lamp stays year round. And then on the other side, I need something equally as big and dramatic, if you will, to balance it out. So what I did was um, take a hyacinth basket. Now typically I have the orchid in there, but being that we're going for fall, I did more of a fall floral. Now it sits a little too low in the basket, so I just used uh, an old candle actually and put it in there to give it some height. And so then that equals everything out. And then I group things in either threes or fives. <laughs> so odd numbers. So if you look on this side, let's take this side first where the um, next to the lamp, I got three different pumpkins um, and I wanted to give them some dimension and height. So we have a cute little wicker, wicker pumpkin on this side, which is mimicking the hyacinth basket. So we're mixing a lot of different textures. And then I have a ceramic pumpkin in the back and it's sitting, I just flipped up a, uh, a little bowl, wooden bowl, flipped it up to put that height and then I have a little green pumpkin. I have the wooden beads. And then I have just um, an autumn pick. Okay, so now on this other side, I, you can see that I have light as well. We have light on one side. So we're using candles on this side. So again, I have a grouping of three. The first thing in the back is the lantern. I use the black metal uh, to pull out uh, the love sign, it has that metal, and it also has um, the rope detail, which brings out the hyacinth basket and the pumpkin. And then in front, and there's also a candle in there. And y'all, that's the candles that I told you there, uh, the automatic candles with the on-off um, set of trio, those are great. In the front, I have a little candle that when it is not lit, looks like an acorn, um, which is really pretty. And it has this scroll work and this gold in it. And then we have a little floral plant that was like $5 at uh, Target. And that just pulls the greenery in. So we have green, browns, both sides. So then in the middle, I used a pedestal. You guys know how I love a pedestal uh, or a cake stand. And this one is wood, again, love that wood earthy feel. Uh, I just took a wreath uh, and put that around it with the green and white, and then I stuck a neutral pumpkin. You could use any color you want, but I love the glass uh, pumpkin. And then I took a little sprig of the same that I used on this side, I used it there. So if you notice, you have a little pop of orange everywhere on this side this side and this side a very hint you have green on each side you have brown on each side um, you have light on both sides and you have uh, a bunch of dis d different textures uh, between the glass the metal the wood the wicker uh, and I think that that brings it just all together and completely changes and elevates the look of that area. That is how I go about really elevating uh, a sectional, uh, elevating a living room uh, with a sofa table. You split screen right here and I'm gonna show you my daughters. Um, this is also a Walmart find as well. They do really great with their furniture online. So you can see she has hers decorated obviously for uh, Halloween, but hers is a two-tiered um, as well, and I'm pretty sure it's the same brand as the one that I got. Because you see hers, the whole thing, not just the top like you see mine, um, she wanted one that had two tiers, which is smart because you can take those hyacinth baskets and you can put them underneath or decorations. Um, in her case, it's all Halloween, y'all. <laughs> um, but I want to show you then if you take, we haven't done the the uh, 
coffee table. Uh, but what I wanted to do was show you, or the shelving over here. We are just concentrating on this area. So um, I wanted to show you then, I took away the gray uh, pillows. I left the white Ugg pillows. And then I picked up these beautiful ones. Absolutely gorgeous. And you think, oh, they blend in too much. No, that's what makes them great. They're a beautiful neutral. So they've got the um, gorgeous tan and white ivory and they're textured. So you see that texture of it. So it actually makes it pop. Um, and I think that it looks beautiful. So that green is so stunning and it pulls it will draw your eye, if you look at this green, it will draw your eye to anything that's green on the sofa table, or in my case, the love sign with a little bit of green um, artwork. And I think it looks so pretty. Okay, you guys, so we have the sofa table done. We have the couch done, with the exception of, so I had bought those pillows and I only bought two, I want another one. If I can snag one more, I need one more. Oh, don't you hate that. Um, we are now going to talk about, so we have that beautiful sofa table done, and look how much better it already looks. Now we're gonna go ahead and work on the coffee table. So this is my coffee table. You guys have seen it, um, and I love it. It is perfect for this couch. It is solid, solid, solid wood. Uh, let me just show you a few things about this. This is tufted. It is a gray fabric, and then there are two drawers, one on each side, and then there is space underneath for whatever you wanna put. So like I put hyacinth baskets on one side, and then you're asking yourself, but Darlene, how do you like sit your drinks and stuff there? I'm gonna show you. You guys know, you know by now, I love these trays. These are from Hearth and Hearth, and I have them everywhere. So I keep one under here, and we sit it here, and we put our drinks here, and we watch TV. It's that easy. So let's go ahead and decorate this for fall. Okay, you guys, so the first thing is I want to clean everything. So these trays, um, what I do is I use a food grade mineral oil. So um, I use this for my cutting boards and I use them for my shark curry boards as well. So I just put a little on there and then I just rub it in and it keeps the boards looking amazing. I also use this for my um, <clears throat> wooden utensils, my wooden spoons and stuff like that. So this is great. It'll sink in and then looks brand spanking new. No joke. So I'm gonna let that soak in. The next tray is a mirrored tray. I don't know what I'm going for yet. I don't have a plan, you guys, I don't. Um, best glass cleaner, my cleaning ladies got me onto this. It's called Sprayway and it's a foaming glass cleaner. Phenomenal, it's absolutely phenomenal. So, and it smells really good too. I have a thing about things smelling good. So, I'm gonna clean this up. Now, you guys know by now, if you've watched my channel, I layer. So, I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but I have this marble, this is a trivet you could use it as a trivet, you could use it as a charcuterie board, you could use it for decor. This girl loves decor. So I'm gonna take a little bit, what's left on this, there's a little bit of wood here, I'm gonna polish that up, and then I'm just gonna take whatever's the glass cleaner that's on here and I'm just gonna polish that. I'm gonna do both sides. This is normally what I do. I use this, and I use this, and that's typically what I use but I feel like I wanna go, and I have three of these, so I'll just stick another one under here if I need to. So I'm almost thinking I'm gonna go a little more rustic. I, I just think I feel like doing that. So I, uh, I vacuumed this, by the way, yesterday. So we're gonna try here. I normally do not go round and round, but I think, 
I like the height. It gives it a little bit of something. Now, I, of course, need a candle and I need florals. I always need a candle. I always need florals. This is typically what's on here. So I'm gonna take these ones out. Love the white, they're neutral, they're great. But I think we can do better. So I got this one, which does have a hint of orange, but it has a lot of other colors too. Because you know I'm not into the orange. Now, this is what we have so far. We got a pool green. So I got some faux eucalyptus, okay, right off of Amazon. I don't know, ooh, yes, and I like the height, okay? So we're gonna add some eucalyptus. We're just gonna stick it in there. I wanna check this out too, and I think I might. A little height all right I like that I just put one of those picks in there picks are the best thing in the world y'all I'm gonna put you here but I have this one oh that amber is beautiful look at that love that I, I don't even need to look at this one but I'm going to so this is target that is beautiful as well but I have a different spot for you. So, well, oof, you guys, now I might have second guessed myself. Which do we like better? It's always threes, three, 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 or five. I kind of really like that, but do I love it? I already know what the third thing is. You all know, come on. Who can guess what the third thing's gonna be? This is the third thing. You have to have matches. These ones are white. Ah, uh, that helped me decide. I like this better. These are the um, coasters that I typically use. Now, how would I use them? Because you're like, but you do threes. I do, but I would put it like this. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, it looks great, right? I think it does. I think it looks really pretty. This, I love this look. Now, I, however, and I said, threes and fives, threes and fives, odd numbers. So I wanted to take, I just felt like a cute little pumpkin like this, get them right off of Amazon, you guys. We put a little pumpkin, uh-oh, we have four. I know, what do I do? So they, I, you can buy these bags of flowers and they're all wooden flowers and they're all different and they're great. So let me show you. Okay, so I've zoomed in. I have used uh, the tray that I love. I have many of these. Um, I use them for my char charcuterie board. And then I love layering. So this is square coffee table. I went with a round tray. And then another tray, which this has marble and wood. And then uh, the Foliage, um, I got off of Amazon, super easy. Added a few extra uh, eucalyptus leaves. Again, sweet little pumpkins, which I think are so cute. This candle is from Target, I will list everything. Love these, these are just gorgeous and I think these are um, so pretty for fall. Um, you could go, these are the ones that I have. They have the gold, uh, they have the little feet and then they're marble. And so I think they're really beautiful. And instead of just stacking them straight, I put one at an angle. And then of course the designer matches. You guys know how I love these. You can get these in multiple colors. I'm going for white um, with regards to this. And then I just put these beautiful little wooden flowers. You can get a whole bag of them and just add them around. Um, and so now that is done. So now we have a little side table over there. Still looking pretty springy so let's go over here and take care of that we have this beautiful little side table here um this side table is really cute i love the wood uh the white and um the uh brown so first thing i'm going to do is take everything off of it um and then we're going to take off the spring and 
we are going to clean it up. So we have a blank canvas. Let's get to going. So we need florals. We need a candle. Okay, so this beauty I thought looked really pretty. I absolutely love the sunflowers in this gorgeous um, sort of mauve-y. Still has a hint of like the yellow and the green. So we'll pull from everything else. And then of course I had to find a candle to match. And I found one that was a little pumpkin. So how cute is this? I love that. And it smells like vanilla, which is great. So um, I think this looks really pretty. And um, so we've got that. And then I am gonna use a little bit of wood here. So what I'm gonna do is take some of those little flowers that I talked about, those little wooden flowers, and I'm literally just gonna fill this up. And I think that looks really pretty. This one was too easy, you guys. So the other thing that I use is a nice big basket because although I will have a throw on the couch, so I like a nice neutral basket uh, right by the couch and then I will take whatever little throws that I have and just keep them in there by the basket. Um, and that way you can start, especially as winter comes. <laughs> And then the other thing that I have back there um, is my kitty cat um, <laughs> like deluxe thing. Let me show you this thing. It's crazy. So let me let me put it back because I moved it. But this is where she goes. Miss or he goes. Mittens. I put it right back here. And that way she kind of hangs out with us. There we go. So we have our little kitty perch. So there you guys have it. Don't look at the shelves yet. Okay. To recap what we did today. So we took a very boring, in my opinion, <laughs> uh, living space or living room. It could be your family room as well. And by adding something as simple as a console table, um, it really, elevates, um, especially if you have a sectional, but it elevates any couch. Um, uh, in my old home, I had a couch, console table was there. Um, I think it just gives it that extra layer that a uh, living space needs. And it's also a great place for you to display what you love and to decorate it the way that you want to decorate it. So my tips and tricks in decorating this little area here is um, one is use things that you already have. If you already have charcuterie boards, um, and I've talked about this, use them as decor. They make great decor and um, they look amazing. Uh, the other thing are trays and the other thing is keeping things in different levels. The other thing is, the other tip is use different textures. So you can see that I have metal, I have rattan, I have um, raffia, I have, I have wood, I have ceramic. So I've got the gamut um, with regards to texture. Texture goes a long, long way. And things do not have to be expensive to look expensive. The other thing is, um, trying to keep it somewhat symmetrical. So there, if there's something tall on the end, like the light, let's keep something tall on the opposite end. It doesn't have to be a light, that would be boring. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with having two lights. Um, but instead, I used a floral piece. And then um, do things in odd numbers. So three, five, seven, 
whatever you like. And then you can add small little details within those three, like I did with the pumpkins, I threw the beads on and then I you know, put a few picks in. But um, when you do things in odd numbers, it just aesthetically looks better. And then to tie everything in, pick a color scheme. It doesn't have to be one color. That's not one color. The big part is find pieces that, um, find your staple pieces. Like the couch is a staple piece. I'm not gonna change it out. That's why I got a neutral. Um, the console table, that is going to go in any house, wherever I am, because it's a neutral. It's wood, it's metal, it goes. Same thing with the coffee table. Although, I, again, I say this is gray, um, in this house there's no way I could go with a neutral like a, um, like to match the couch. These boys are just way too messy for that. I'm lucky there's not stains on this thing by it because they eat out here. Um, but I think it looks really good. Then it's the little tiny details. That's the last part of this, is the little things that just take it over the top, like the designer matches, like the little wooden flowers, like a string of wooden beads, and none of that is expensive. I mean, and, and you get a giant bag. I, I have them everywhere and I still have so many of them. Um, so you buy a giant bag of them and you can put them anywhere, year round. That's the beautiful thing about doing a white, um, but you can do any colors. Same thing with designer matches. It just elevates it a little and it just becomes this beautiful um, vignette. It's almost like this beautiful picture in, in my mind. You know, that's what I, I love about decorating. When I look at it, I wanna feel that warm, fuzzy, you know, feeling. Now, this living room is gonna be definitely feel like one cohesive color. So those are my tips and tricks for creating a really homey, elevated living space. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, take a minute, hit the thumbs up, and make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell, because like I said, next week, we're doing this whole area here, all of those shelves there, and we're doing the fireplace, so that'll be exciting. All right, guys, um, I will see you soon, and thank you again so much for watching. Bye, guys.